Hello kids! My name is Colleen. Today, I will tell you a story entitled The Early Training of the Appointed Son of God, Pastor Apollo C. Kibuloy. Listen carefully. There was a little boy named Apollo. Apollo grew up in Bagobo community. He was an active little boy and the apple of everybody's eye. He loves to laugh and play, but some things about him were not ordinary. One day, while Apollo was playing with his friends, Tata saw two big and tall men in white guarding the little Apollo. Why are there two men in white garments standing beside him? Tata wondered. In 1955, Apollo's mother, Sika, got sick. Mm -hmm. That made Jose decide, we will go back to Pampanga. Jose sold their 24-hectare land that was full of coffee, plants, and abaca. Then the family left their house, went to the Moros. Apollo, who used to live in a mountain, was introduced to a new environment. He started to suffer from several heat rash conditions which made him cry all day. He missed the beautiful Mount Apple. Mother, my skin is so itchy. Apollo, stop crying, Sika pleaded. Sika knew that he wanted to see a mountain that would make him stop crying. What should we do? Sika came up with a good idea. She took Apollo to Mount Arayat by riding a jeepney. Just with the sight of the mountain, he stopped crying, thinking he was at the foothills of Mount Apo. Apollo grew up into a disciplined child. Tata and Sika taught Apollo and his siblings to pray and closer to God. Years passed. Two of his brothers, Leonardo and Emilio, went back to Davao to farm. Life in the mountain was not easy. If there was no harvest, there was no income. Young Apollo learned to sell coffee beans together with his friend Coco Bebe. Let's gather coffee beans and sell them. Where are we going to sell our coffee beans? There, at the Chinese store. About five kilometers away from their house was a store owned by a Chinese man. His parents cannot afford to buy new clothes, so the young Apollo had to wear his brother's clothes. Then one day, they don't have rice to eat, so Sika asked her eldest child to go and borrow rice from the Chinese store. But the eldest child would pass on the command to the other sibling. And because Apollo was the youngest, he was always tasked to go to the store. Apollo, you're the youngest. Go and borrow rice. He was a shy boy, but he had no choice. When he got near the store, he would just stand. He could not tell what he wanted right away. How will I tell the store owner that I need rice? It took him long hours of standing until he will be noticed. Apollo saw hardship and poverty, but this never stopped him to his dream. Apollo dreamt to become a pilot, a lawyer, and an engineer. Helen, Apollo's sister took him to Parang Cotabato to study. He did all the house chores every day. Apollo, are you finished cleaning? Helen would ask. He had to cook for the family and he had to wash the plates. Pook! Young Apollo felt the wooden ladle on his head. He wondered. In high school, he studied at Notre Dame in Cotabato. Because of his good character, he became the favorite of the nuns and priests. His sister would only give him one peso and 50 centavos for his allowance. For the whole week, Apollo took care of the bakery of his sister. He was the baker and the server and the manager. 
He managed the cafeteria and served coffee early in the morning before going to school. He was very honest with money. He never stole a single centavo from the cash box. Along with all the sacrifices was intense discipline, but the corrections brought him to where he is today. When he had gone through correction and discipline, he did not hate his sister at a very young age. He learned obedience, learned how to endure, and learned how to be patient. He learned how to work hard. There you go, kids. I hope you learned something from this story. Remember, hard work and honesty are important kingdom values that we must apply in our everyday life. Thank you for listening. Goodbye!